tell about him. And I exposed him. He was a rather um, big fellow, and so he um, had the word out that when I see this guy Les Brown the disc jockey, I'm going to knock him in the mouth for having a big mouth. So I was driving down Main Street in Columbus, Ohio, had my son in a car, and I always had this little saying, hey, if anybody ever put a threat on me, I'm going to make him honor it. So I saw this guy in the street. So I pull around. I said, excuse me, I'll be right back. Got out of the car. I said, hey, man, I heard you said that you were looking for me. I'm Les Brown. He said, you are? I said, yeah. I said, what is it? I'm the one that said that you were an imposter. I said, I want to know what you're going to do about it. He opened his coat and he had a gun there. I said, but whatever I said to hurt your feelings, I want you to have a <laughs> Acknowledge your fears, carry yourself accordingly. <laughs> and do what makes sense for you. One major fear I've always had, the fear of a dentist. And this fear had me. I didn't have that fear. I saw a movie that most people would not remember. This movie was starring Dustin Hoffman. It's called The Marathon Man with Lawrence Olivier. I mean, he's trying to get a confession out of him. And he took this drill out. Let me tell you something. When he went in Dustin Hoffman's mouth with that drill, I had a dollar worth of popcorn. <laughs> that popcorn went everywhere. Oh! <laughs> Do you know I could not go to the dentist for five years? <laughs> I had left broadcasting went to the Ohio legislature, had an impacted wisdom tooth, now that hurts. And I would call, and as soon as the people would answer the phone, I would hang up. I was hurting so bad as a witness. And I said, what am I afraid of? I said, Doc, I just can't hear this drill. I mean, if you can do whatever, I just don't, I don't need to hear this drill. This drill, that sound, you know, that's the, what gets me, that drill. Don't pull that drill out on me. He said, just calm down, calm down. And it wasn't really bad as I thought it was. One of the things you find out that when you face your fears, it's not as bad as you think it is. And when people tell you, I, I just can't do it, I, I can't handle it. I mean, really, 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 I can't handle it. What the Live like there's no tomorrow and do what you love. The money will flow. Just because you are going through hell right now doesn't mean you will never smile again. The rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. John F. Kennedy Recognizing that you are not where you want to be is a starting point to begin changing your life. It is not about having what you want, but wanting what you have. We should consider every day lost on which we have not danced at least once. Friedrich Nietzsche One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to go to the dealership and buy the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you've never made a decision. Those of you in this room, you already there. Your problem is this and stuff. You don't want to give up the goal. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Listen to me, pound for pound. Any agent in the room, pound for pound. Motivational speaker, pound for pound. Entrepreneur, pound for pound. Athlete, pound for pound. Weightlifter, pound for pound. Whatever you do, I guarantee you, when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goals. Watch what happens when you have a goal that only has two reasons. See how long that lasts. Watch a goal that has 50 reasons and see how you... There's some, somebody called me the other day on an interview, stupid question. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like Say, ask, ask the question again, please. Well, what do you do on the days that you don't feel like 
So I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm way past that. Every day I feel like. Every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every he that hath not won and the self same general end always as long as he liveth cannot possibly be one and the self same man always. But this will not suffice except thou add also what ought to be this general end. For as the general conceit and apprehension of all those things which upon no certain ground are by the greater part of men deemed good, cannot be uniform and agreeable, but that only which is limited and restrained by some certain proprieties and conditions, as of community, that nothing be conceived good, which is not commonly and publicly good, so must the end also that we propose unto ourselves be common and sociable. For he that doth direct all his own private motions and purposes to that end, all his actions will be agreeable and uniform, and by that means will be still the same man. Life is too short to hate anyone. Ultimately, the people who mind don't matter, and the people who matter don't mind. The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. Plato. Never say maybe. If you want to say no, say no. Talking without thinking is like shooting without aiming. The present moment is the key to enlightenment. Eckhart Tolle I can write a book. I never had time before. I was always on the road. Pack it, unpack it. I was always on the road, right? And so writing a book is better than speaking. Why? Because in order to make money speaking, you have to be present. When you write a book, it's passive income. While you're asleep and people buying it, you're making money. So I actually can make more money with a book than I can speaking. And sometimes tragedies strike not to hurt you, but to elevate you in a way if the tragedy never happened, you would never be elevated. There is a blessing in every lesson. Come on, there's a blessing in every lesson. So number one, you got to become a good decision maker to make your dreams become a reality. So I made a decision. I was going to wake up every single day and I was going to write. I was going to wake up every single day. Do me a favor, in your phone right now, I want you to write down good decisions, bad decisions. All right? Good decisions, bad decisions. I want you to write that down. Good decisions. Say it with me. Good decisions, bad decisions. So let me just say this to you, and I want to make this clear. Right? I remember, you know, years ago, we used to say when we was kids, you know, somebody would say, well, that person is middle age, that person is old. Right? You can't say that anymore. Why? Because of the decisions that a lot of us are making now. There are kids who are 17 and 18 who are old. Why? Because they're not going to make it to 19. So they're seniors. Like that's it. They're 19, 20. They're making some bad decisions. They're not going to make it to 21. So they're actually a senior citizen at 15 because they don't have but three or four years left to go. Does that make sense? Because they made what kind of decisions? Bad decisions. So here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to ask yourself every single day, are the decisions I'm making good? Because if you're a good decision maker, it means you are, to get, you are guaranteed to make your dreams become a reality. I told you my goal was to write a book and make what list? New York Times bestsellers list. And week one, we made it. Why? Because of the decisions we made. There was a whole lot of decisions that it took to get here. And so in order for you to make your dreams and goals become a reality, you got to be a great decision maker. Does that make sense? And listen to me, every, every outcome you get, I had an uncle who died of cirrhosis of the liver. It didn't happen by accident. It didn't happen by accident. He died maybe 50, 60. It wasn't by accident. How, how do you die of cirrhosis of the liver? What, for the most part, what happens? You, somebody said, drinking, drinking what? You're not drinking water. 
Not you're not drinking water. Like you, I'll listen to me very close.